and so welcome to Hasib Electronics in this video we are going to discuss about SMPS switch mode power supply we will discuss in detail we will discuss what is SMPS switch mode power supply what is its configuration how it works how is the circuit in block and what are the different types of SMPS controlling we can use uh, VCO, we can use RLC, we can use, uh, use RC network, we can use PWM, we can use control microcontrollers and different parameters of these ICs. Then the block diagram, pulse width modulator, we will discuss in detail what is pulse width, what is pulse, what is, what is pulse width and how the pulse width is changed to control this switch finally we will make a troubleshooting on smps circuits i will induct or uh, i will put fault in this possible fa uh, faults in the circuit and i will demonstrate how you will troubleshoot that if this video is good for you after watching this video you can subscribe you can like if you want if you want to watch my future videos you can hit the bell icon button and if you have any query any question you can uh, go to a comment section and you can post your comment i will welcome you let's start our subject maybe this video is uh, going some long but it is in detail discussion to understand the smps this time i am finding voltage here 3.2 volt and if the optocoupler is short I made it short circuit we can see this circuit goes in dead state complete circuit why I will demonstrate step by step what happens and it will burn out and it will make short circuit and this fuse will burn out DC voltage so we will find here DC voltage and then check view I share I make a short circuit for this optocoupler now we will see what happens now we have to check the output we can see the multimeter I told this SMPS circuit that there is a short circuit in this output area if there is any short circuit in the output area it will go a uh, shutdown signal to the SMPS this time I am finding voltage here 3.2 volt and if the optocoupler is short I made it short circuit we can see this circuit goes in dead state complete circuit why Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu welcome to Haseeb Electronics today this video is uh, a special thanksgiving video to my honorable valuable viewers who watch my videos and appreciate my work uh, in this video i will say special thanks to sir santosh mishradi and sir azhar qureshi sahab they watched my video the last video smps in that video that was a general discussion about smps they honored me they watched my videos they asked some question to discuss about PWM pulse width modulator or VCO I will try to explain in detail Sir Azhar Qureshi asked me to discuss about uh, failure of SMPS and FET in the chopper circuit uh, let's start our this subject when we discuss about a power supply switch mode power supply every power supply it have some sections the first section that is called hot area hot area or high voltage area after that there is isolation and then there is cold side this one takes input from the line voltage line voltage which we have in our country if we are in European countries or American states then we take 110 volt if we are in Asian countries and we are using 220 volt 
in transformer based power supplies there are transformers and there is a sw selector switch you have to select select the switch like uh, this transformer if we are using in 200 uh, 110 volt sorry so this section will work and then there is an a switch if we are using at 110 volt then this one primary will work and then there is a switch if we want to use it 110 volt and here it will apply 220 volt and then in in this case the transformer will in series for 220 volt the output will remain same why so it is not part of this video but it is a concept when we were applying 110 volt it was using a small amount of coil when it is using small amount of coil it will give a specific flux to induce voltage here in the output when we apply 220 volt then two coils come in series so when two coils are in series the inductive re reactance XL will increase well it will increase so magnetic field will reduce according to the voltage the magnetic field will same as it was 110 volt why because now the extra 110 volt are dropping here so we are taking suppose we can say if we applied 110 volt then it is taking gi giving us 9 volt here is selector switch this selector switch makes selection between 110 volt and 220 volt it was a normal transformer based power supply now we are going to discuss switch mode power supply switching mode power supply switching mode power supply it is totally different than this because here we are using one transformer and we have selector switch here we have to swap this switch if we are using to 110 volt we will shift it to 110 volt so in that case this switch separates this portion so this portion will be used one portion will be used for 110 volt but when we are using to 220 volt this switch will include this winding of the primary of the transformer now we will swap to switch mode power supply switch mode power supply it is automatic there is no selection for voltage for input voltage and it is totally isolated like here it is isolation the same here is isolation here is isolation transformer here is isolation transformer so it is isolated it is isolated but the basic phenomena of this power supply it is called switch mode power supply here transformer was taking directly 110 volt or 220 volt from the line voltage and it was giving output at this end but here here directly AC voltage in this case it will take the line voltage which may be 80 volt to 240 volt any voltage it have it does not matter here problem was here 110 volt 9 volt if we apply 220 volt this output will increase too much high and it will damage the transformer but here there is no reason in this area there is a filter circuit then there is a rectifier circuit this filter area this filters the input ripples and high voltage spikes and radio frequency it gives a pure 60 hertz or 55 hertz 50 hertz whatever whatsoever is there and it takes a dc voltage here we can take dc voltage now this dc voltage are applied i will give a remark to a chopper circuit what is chopper circuit we will discuss in detail then there is 
our transformer here. Here are the outputs. This chopper circuit, it takes DC voltage and it will switch in this transformer and it will give output. We will come here now. I will demonstrate what is the chopper circuit, what is the inverter circuit. My special thanks to Sir Santosh Mishraji and Sir Azhar Qureshi Sahib. Sir, आप दोनों का बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया आपने मेरे चैनल पे विजिट किया आपने मेरी वीडियोस को देखा मुझे सराहा मेरे काम को मैं आपका बहुत बहुत थैंकफुल हूँ अभी हम बात करेंगे नाउ वी विल डिस्कस एसएमपीएस एसएमपीएस इट इज नोन एज अ स्विच मॉड पावर सप्लाई फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू डिस्कस स्विच मॉड आई विल कम हेयर फॉर अ वाइल If we see this supply, here is input. Here is input terminal. If we see here is input terminal. After that, these four points are for bridge rectifier. This bridge rectifier gives us two hundred, three hundred thirty volt about approximately. Bridge rectifier here two hundred twenty volt, and the output of the bridge, full wave bridge rectifier. Here we find on this capacitor it is 400 volt capacitor. Okay, here we will find 400, uh, 330 volt, 300 plus volt. After that, as I discussed, there is a chopper circuit. There is a pulse width modulator IC. This IC, it is K8, uh, 3842, 852, 850. Here we have. SMPS switch mod power supply. First of all, switch mod power supply. There is a VCO circuit. Some power supplies, when we no need a regulation, we need just only a switching, like uh, in inverter, in simple inverters. We can use any oscillator circuit, and some of them. Are like uh, TL four nine four, TL five nine four. These are fully one chip, uh, one chip controlled oscillators on one chip. TL four nine four. It have dual drive. These SMPS are single drive. Now, if I come here. This IC, it have only one FET, one field effect transistor. Now I will come here. How is the configuration? It's a transformer. Here, if we use transistor or FET. Transistor or FET MOSFET, whatever they use. Here is FET transformer, FET. Now we have to understand one thing, and here it is applied 330 volt DC. Now we have to discuss one thing. If this transformer, if I apply here, suppose we can say it is 10 hertz, and Here we apply a rectifier. Okay. Here we apply a capacitor filter. Here I apply 10 10 hertz, and here I applied 100 hertz. What will happen? Let's see this condition. In this condition, the first pulse will arrive. The first pulse will arrive. After that, the duty cycle. Duty cycle. What is duty cycle? Uh, how much time it will remain on, and how much time it will remain off? Like here. From here until here, 
this is one cycle this is one cycle if I have an other pulse this is another phenomenon now here duty cycle 50 percent and if this total is one second and half second half second it is on half second off duty cycle is 50 percent and if here 100 millisecond it is on and 900 millisecond it is off the duty cycle is 10 percent we can say that 10 percent of the total time it is on and the other if any one pulse will remain high 90 percent of the cycle we can say the duty percent the duty cycle is 90 percent here 50 percent here 10 percent here 90 percent when this pulse at 10 hertz we will come in this issue in the next stage here 10 hertz the switching voltage will go out through mutual induction and this will charge after that it will take interval capacitor will take a charging time constant and then the next cycle will come so here we will find low voltage a specific voltage but if the switching rate from the transformer is extra is more what will happen in this area the charging time constant once it is completed then the voltage will remain constant and this will produce more voltage than this if the frequency is low if the frequency is low the output voltage will low if the frequency is high the transformer will switch more fastly the voltage at the output end will stable here the voltage will rise like this after that like this but here the voltage output will be here if it is clipped off here if it is clipped off here and charging and discharging time we will apply uh, achieve voltage less voltage than this first of all the switching of the transformer is too much effective on the output now we will continue to this point as we discussed here VCO or SMPS if we see power supplies some power supplies we will see with a IC with IC and if I see this buck converter it does not have any IC it have some resistors and capacitors it is RC oscillator it is a tuned circuit RC oscillator sometime it is if we see VCO sometime they are RC oscillators sometime they are RLC oscillators maybe this video is uh, going some long but it is in detailed discussion to understand the SMPS the designing engineer he calculates the RC time constant for a tuned circuit and then these oscillators make switching they take uh, give us sawtooth waves how we take we take from the capacitor capacitor charging discharging and this switching this sawtooth waves 
are used to trigger this FET field effect transistor here. As we discussed, here are 330 volt DC. From where we got, we got 330 volt from this filter circuit. This 330 volt from the capacitor, I will make capacitor like this. Here, 220 volt, this bridge rectifier, bridge rectifier, capacitor, here is grounded. Now this drive voltage, we have to understand this, the same phenomena here, the same thing here. In RC circuits, we use these sawtooth waves to switch this transistor, this FET, when any drive will come here after that it is sampled this drive when this will drive it will cause to fire this FET it will cause to switch this FET when the voltage are high this will conduct this negative or ground voltage will flow through coil and it will complete and it will generate a magnetic field and it will cause a switching. When it will go to low state, this will go open. So here is a switch which is opening or closing, opening or closing. When this pulse will high, it will make con conduct this circuit. This will conduct, this will cause to conduct this trans, uh, this uh, transistor or FET, anything what is uh, so ever, sometime here is uh, BJT, IGBT, anything. If here is IGBT, FET, IGBT, anything he here is, any block which is used to switch, it is here. For RC, we use this capacitor. These voltage are used to used as a drive voltage then there is RLC circuit I will make this as a drive voltage I highlighted this drive voltage because Here is drive voltage. Drive voltage. Now there is our LC circuit. Our LC circuit, it is also a tuned circuit. This RC circuit, RC oscillator, it is for, it is used to give a fixed frequency output fixed frequency output. When we have an output regulator, we just only switch from RC oscillator. From RC. When there is, we use a regulation, we take a part of this output transformer, this transformer, this RLC network R and C are collected outside and it takes some drive of this transformer. If we see this buck converter, it has four input terminals of the uh, transformer. Four terminals of the transformer. We have 1, 2, 3 and 4. We have 4 input terminals. If we see very closely, one line it is connected directly to the capacitor. The other line is going to FET, field effect transistor. And the output of the transformer is coming to this transformer pins. 
this line is going directly to the transformer the other line negative uh, yes the negative voltage are going to FET FET makes switching to this transformer negative terminal is here negative terminal is here the positive terminal is here here is switching the same here the same here this negative terminal is connected here the positive terminal is connected to capacitor uh, transformer here the positive terminal is directly connected to transformer I will show you here the positive terminal directly connected to transformer here the negative terminal is connected to this FET FET here negative terminal is connected here now the base or the gate of the FET that is driven from any type of oscillator what's that if you will come here here is a capacitor here is a capacitor here is a resistor and it is taking drive it is taking a feedback signal from this transformer if we see this line is coming back to this RC network so this one is R here is R R resistor inside this R C and one portion of this capacitor feedback circuit that is used to control the voltage so this voltage RC network we, I will come here RC network will make output here is what is monitored in this circuit here is no monitoring in this circuit there is no monitoring there is no monitoring but here is monitoring what is monitoring over current over voltage in this RLC in this RLC network when this transformer it is working normally the feedback signal suppose feedback signal is of this amplitude but if there is output short circuit we can say there is short circuit in the output what will happen it will cause excessive current flow in the secondary one minute I will I will discuss here in the normal condition if in this portion a current is flowing at a specific rate and it is taking one ampere output current when one ampere it is standard current when at one ampere we are finding also voltage due to back EMF we are finding here we can say 0.5 volt uh, 500 millivolt and this current we can say it will increase to 5 ampere when it will uh, try to at standard 1 ampere I was taking 500 millivolt due to this current flow in this winding because here are voltage and so this magnetic field this magnetic field it is it will result to induce excessive voltage in the feedback winding from here from here it is switching 
switching voltage here in this portion and due to flow of current in the output stage it will cause excessive magnetic field in this area in this feedback coil this is switching mod switching coil switching coil output coil and this is feedback when it will 1 ampere i was taking 500 millivolt when it will try to increase ex drain excessive current these voltage and this current will make a back emf here a magnetic field here that is that will increase in this voltage suppose now i am taking 2.5 volt when this 2.5 volt will will arrive at this filter circuit it will try to increase the output this is drive circuit drive circuit and in the same transformer we have one feedback circuit feedback circuit okay and here is output circuit we can say we are taking 1 ampere current when we are switching here in this portion due to this switching we are taking magnetic field here and due to mutual induction we take output voltage we can say we are taking 12 volt 12 volt 1 ampere from this voltage but in some cases for any cases the load tries to take 2 ampere when I was taking 1 ampere there was a switching we can say it was switching at this stage 50% duty cycle duty cycle okay when it will try to take 2 ampere we know the magnetic field is depends upon the flow of current when it will tend to try excessive current it will cause excessive current flow in the secondary and this will also cut the feedback circuit when this magnetic field will go to in strong condition due to current excessive current flow it will increase the induction in the feedback circuit when this will increase the induction in the feedback before that I was taking 500 millivolt at 1 ampere when I tried 2 ampere these 2 ampere will increase this voltage to 1 volt and it will what will happen as the increase of current the feedback voltage will start to increase when these will these will increase here RLC circuit feedback circuit will change the duty cycle of this pulse okay first I was taking this now it will change the duty cycle or change the frequency there are two, two methods it will change the frequency or change the duty cycle there are two type of uh, circuits one type that is changing duty cycle the second type that is changing frequency switching frequency It will change the duty cycle when duty cycle will change what will happen because 
Now I will come back again here. When it was trying to load was trying to take 2 volts, sorry 2 ampere, it will cause to decrease the output voltage. When it will cause to decrease the output voltage, this circuit will increase the duty cycle. When this will increase the duty cycle and it will cause to switch more switching to give a more strong magnetic field to this transformer and it will give a slight increase in the output voltage to compensate the load effect on the transformer. So the voltage will remain same 12 volt and current will increase to 2 ampere and at a spe specific limit there is a dead time control that dead time control that is called switch off switch off or shut down at short circuit that will consider suppose it is 2 ampere if any circuit tries to take 2.5 ampere at 2.5 ampere I will take suppose uh, 1200 millivolt this circuit will cut the drive when there is a short circuit at first pulse this will start but at the second pulse this will give a feedback that there is a short circuit and it will cut the drive now we will come back to our switch now RC RC that's called VCO RLC now we will come to SMPS switch mode power splice when we see any IC like this TL494 594 are there are modern power supplies intelligent power supplies microcontrollers we are going to discuss about SMPS basic items that is SMPS IC that's called PWM pulse width modulator now we are going to start this one. it is the key feature of any switching mode for supply PWM I will make uh, in detail videos on every topic okay PWM when we take concept about PWM ICs what is pulse width modulator to understand PWM I will say it is a computerized brain it is it works like a brain human brain it works like a human brain how pulse width modulator we can say our SMPS controller Pulse width modulator or SMPS controller. Actual, it works like a brain, like a computer. What is the output? I will start from the output. It is controlling anything. Here we have applied voltage here, 300 volts, and. Here are outputs. Taking some part from output, it is using as a feedback. Feedback. To monitor, is the output correct? If the output is decreasing, it will increase it's switching it will change the pulse width the switching time 
in one cycle it will change the percentage of the clock pulse here to drive this FET, this transistor, this IGBT. If the voltage are increasing it will reduce this system. It is a feedback loop. Then first it will monitor voltage, under voltage, what condition? Under voltage, over voltage, current, over current, short circuit, it will detect everything. If over current, in the case of under voltage, over voltage, it will try to control the voltage. If there is under voltage, when under voltage that means there is low high current. When high current at a specific limit, it will shut down this drive. It will go in inhibit state. It will go in off condition. Then it monitors the input voltage. Is the input voltage proper? It takes some time temperature reading. Temperature. Input voltage, output voltage, feedback and everything it controls. Then there is pre-programmed resistors. This set is used to give a standard frequency at 50% duty cycle. We can say this network is used to program 1 kilohertz 50% cycle. If the voltage are decreasing it will change this value the frequency will remain same it will change the duty cycle suppose in the first condition at normal voltage the clock or the drive signal is in this condition it is standard value if the output, volt, output voltage are decreasing what it will do the cycle will remain same 1 kilohertz will remain same but it will increase the on period of the cycle like this if we see before this the system was or the transfer, transformer was making switching in this period but now it will start more it will give a full flux to induce more voltage in the secondary or if the voltage are increasing what it will do in that scenario it will decrease the switching time like this. In the standard value it is working here. When the voltage are decreasing it will increase the switching time. If the voltage are increasing it will decrease the switching time. If the voltage are decreasing it will increase the switching time. It will work as a negative feedback. If the voltage are decreasing it will increase the switching time. When it will increase the switching time the conduction time of the transformer will increase. So the more flux will generate and more voltage will induce in the prime, uh, secondary. So in that, in that case we have more voltage in the output. So it will change the duty cycle. To use These ICs, SNPS, 
small you can say small big or like this it can be used like this it can be RLC circuit it may be solid state logic ICs it may be PWM or SMPS controllers or it may be microcontroller RLC as we discussed here in the start of our, our this discussion apart from the transformer chopper transformer is used as a feedback signal to control the pulse width of the frequency or the frequency here we can use the frequency change frequency or we can change the pulse width in this case in this case we can use we can change the pulse width or we can change the frequency switching frequency here solid state using logic ICs this is also an intelligent system it is used to switch the FET using logic gates TTL or CMOS ICs most of the time it is using gates designed with combination of AND or NOR exclusive OR gates and it's very useful then there is SMPS controllers these are uh, standalone chip microchip controller TL 594 5494 like this many models are available there so PWM it is standalone chip in PWM controllers there are error amplifiers these pick errors in the system there are comparators inside there are uh, dead time controllers they make a specific limits ahlan 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 subhanahu kaif hala ho jaan insha samstaji bakum اه ثلاثة فتي عشان في نص خلي واحد القسم اه اثنين خبيين معك ايه هذا اصلي وهذا اعطيني اياه مفتاح واحد صح؟ اه مفتاح واحد اعطيني اياه عشان بلاش يضيع بكره ولا يبلش اعطيني اياه بدرك وابو الفقيرات ماشي ماشي؟ ماشي اه لانه احنا نحتاج نحتاج شغلات احيانا ما بيغلطوا لا هذا هيك مفتاح واحد احسن مفتاح ولا واحد يفوت هون هيك احسن مفتاح يلا لا 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 لانه احتمال يحتاج شيء من هنا عشان ما تكون تفوق آه. من ادوق بننزل آه. بتجيب مفتاح عده تكتام تسكرها وخلص باقي مش. باقي امور عاديه مش مشكله انا هذا صوتك كمان موجود بالفيديو حبيبي اشطب لا لا يا اخو هلا ابو داج هلا اخو سوري ذس واز ماي ارابيك فريند سو هي كيم هير تو ديسكس سمثينغ وذ مي سوري فور انترابشن اوكي ار امبليفايرز error amplifiers here are some integrators some comparators operational amplifiers this is part of this pulse width modulator it is built in in this we have to connect just these two components and we have to apply VCC VCC is necessary to activate these chips okay then there is a feedback circuit here is optocoupler used optocoupler is necessary to use give feedback the system that the system is functional then PWM controllers they change every uh, microcontroller PWM solid state RLC they change frequency remains same frequency will remain same they will change just pulse width pulse width what is pulse width I will uh, demonstrate
In this condition, our system will remain on in this portion. Our this trans transistor will conduct on and off. And in this case, it will decrease the switching time. And in this case, I have extra switching time. If we see, the frequency is same. The frequency is same. Every cycle starting from here, if I discuss one cycle like this, if I have one cycle here, here the cycle it is 50 percent 50 percent duty cycle in the complete cycle complete cycle it is conducting 50 percent half time on half time off if i have some signal or i can say this is 10 second suppose this is 10 second time if i have 5 second on, 5 second off, that means 50%. 5 second is working, 5 second is off. The same frequency here, if I can say in 10 second, the system is working 2 second on and remains 8 second silent, that means it is 20%. And if I have third type signal, another signal, it remains 8 second on, 2 second off, we can say uh, small, uh, 80 percent so 50 percent it was working in normal condition here the switching time decreased the on time conduction time of this transistor is decreased in this case conduction time increased when it is conducting more it will give more voltage in the output when it will conduct more for a long time so we can we will find the more long interval to operate this transformer sometime there is a chip used to control this function sometime it is used as a combination of FET FET is used This SNPS controller will give a feedback uh, control signal, drive signal to the gate of this FET MOSFET and MOSFET will switch the transformer and sometime there is no MOSFET used, MOSFET is not used, here is just only one IC that is MOSFET IC, here is built in MOSFET in this IC, it takes directly voltage from this capacitor like this this SNPS is controlling these FETs but here no MOSFET is used directly this this another type this another type so type may be different the function will remain same here is built-in MOSFET 
here is external MOSFET. Why external MOSFET? To take extra current. This circuit, it have MOSFET and RLC circuit. This circuit, if it have RLC circuit, FET, RLC, the portion of this transformer is used to control, to feedback this capacitor and resistor network and they drive this FET and FET dr drives the primary coil and then the output is here and it is being monitored from this optocoupler. Here is optocoupler and this optocoupler gives a feedback that there is no short circuit, no overcurrent, no any failure in the output circuit. So this circuit is okay. Here no MOSFET is used, just only built-in MOSFET and it takes feedback for overcurrent and it takes feedback for short circuit through this optocoupler and it is working smoothly. In this circuit there is CMOS network. It monitors the frequency and the output voltage of the UPS uninterrupted power, uninterruptible power supply and it makes and it controls the switching of these FETs. This is SMPS based. Solid state and SMPS. Now there is SMPS controller. SMPS controller we got examples like this like this and then there is a microcontroller microcontroller maybe some micro pick or we have done this then there is microcontroller microcontroller it is software based there is a built-in code in there is a code engineer designing the circuit he defines himself this becomes this IC becomes blank he have to burn the code inside this chip he have to give the parameters and it works as a computer and it will control all the functions of this circuit Micro, microchip can be like this can this small maybe sometime it is like this at well 8 pin sometime it is 16 pin sometime it is 40 pin any type any, any condition but the function will remain same he, any of them any of them they will control they have to do this function any SNPS switch mode power supplies it will work as a PWM or SNPS controllers they will control the switching on or switching off within a specified time of period period of time so until now we discussed I have this circuit applied 230 volt we can see it is live so when you are working on power supply take care it is 237 volt and it is 50 hertz after passing this fuse here is a filter circuit after that there is a bridge rectifier circuit here is bridge rectifier circuit from here until this capacitor we will check voltage now here I will demonstrate step by step what happens here AC voltage 237 volts I will Two hundred thirty-seven volts. After that, after passing this fuse, 
here is a filter here these are capacitor for rc these capacitors are used to remove high frequency ripples and there is a voltage arrestor high voltage arrestor if there is a high voltage spikes it will get short and it will burn out and it will make short circuit and this fuse will burn out after that after passing this filter fuse after fuse there is a capacitor and this is voltage arrestor rv1 after that this is double filter coil Dub after double coil the voltage will go to this point and this point it is a bridge rectifier sometime a bridge rectifier is uh, in single model sometime bridge rectifier is in this pack this package four pins one two three four and sometime it is in discrete components four diodes after passing this diodes we have a capacitor capacitor is here here voltage not AC voltage DC voltage DC voltage so we will find here DC voltage 336 volt as I discussed we find 336 volt filter filter to rectifier here we find DC voltage after DC voltage there is a chopper circuit now we are going to chopper circuit chopper circuit it is combination of pulse width modulator VCOs there is some ICs and sometime there is RC network we are discussing in detail here drive voltage to drive this FET field effect transistor okay sometime there is a stand alone FET field effect transistor sometime there is a drive voltage so it is taking voltage here these voltage directly go to this MOSFET this MOSFET taking voltage positive voltage here uh, sorry negative voltage here and the positive voltage are uh, directly go to transformer here and after that when this circuit is working we will check the if it is making oscillation or no it is making 24 volt oscillation this IC is making oscillation at this voltage So here is making oscillation after that we can find voltage AC voltage in the output of the this transformer we can find voltage here from this section this common line from this common from this common line at this section we can find 11 volt here we can find 7 volt different voltage are here and we are finding DC voltage at the output now I will discuss different here I, I am finding 3.2 volt 13 volt 19 volt 4.9 volt 22 volt 29 volt I am finding different voltage at the output now what happens if this power supply is not working we, what we will do in the first stage you have to check AC voltage here it's 
230 volts. If I cannot find voltage here, I have to test the lead. The input voltage are not appearing here. I have to check the input cable. Then, after passing, I have to go to bridge rectifier at this stage. I will find 230 volt here AC. 230 volt AC here. If I find voltage here, it's okay. Then this section is working. If I cannot find voltage here, I cannot find voltage here, then what to do? I have to check the fuse, maybe fuse is burn out sometime due to high voltage spikes. This thyristor is burn out. We have to check this one. How we can test? We can test just only making a continuity test. If it is giving continuity here, that means it is burn out. Remove this one and replace this one. Okay. And then check fuse. Maybe the fuse is not good. If fuse is giving continuity, that means it's okay. Okay, after that, the main issues. If the RV is okay, the rest is okay, fuse is burn out. Before replacing this fuse, go to these four diodes or go to this capacitor. Most of the time, this capacitor is short circuit internally. Remove this one, test with this one. I have a detailed video, video how to test polar capacitor in my channel. I will give the link in the description how to test this capacitor. Okay. After that, how to test diode. There is a complete detailed discussion of the diode. Now I will connect power again. Switch to, to DC voltage and come to this capacitor. If I cannot uh, find voltage here at this capacitor 337 volt. If I cannot find voltage here at this point what is the problem? The problem maybe the capacitor is open inside. If capacitor will short this diode will burn out any one diode if capacitor is short circuit internally short any one diode or the set of diode will burn out and the fuse will burn out. If the fuse burns again and again, the problem in these diodes. After that, this capacitor. After this capacitor, if this portion is good, directly go to the output. Check the output. If you find any voltage in the output, that means this section is working. If this section is not working, you will not find voltage here. Now, I will make uh, some steps. If you find some voltage here, 3.2 volt, that means this section is working. If any component short in this circuit, in this area, okay, now I will make a short circuit, I will make a jumper. What I did, I, I make a short circuit for this optocoupler. Now we will see what happens. Now we have to check the output. We can see the multimeter. I told this SMPS circuit that there is a short circuit in this output area. I made a jumper to the input terminals of optocoupler to determine that there is a short circuit there is a short circuit in the output section in the low voltage area. If there is any short circuit in the output area it will go a uh, shutdown signal to the SMPS. Switch mode or VCO and VCO will 
discontinue to switching it will make power on when it will make power on this system from here it will give a feedback signal to this system to the SMPS or VCO and VCO will go shut down after resetting it will try again when it will again try the system will again on and then go off on and go off that means there is a problem in output area if you, any power supply if any SMP, SMPS power supply this 3 volt section it is switching like this 7 volt switching no regulated output if we have no regulation that means there is a problem we can see there is a chaining if we have problem like this then we have to find the short circuit in the output area what it will show it will show that the input section is working there is anything in the output section is making problem now I remove the jumper and I will check again now I find the regulated voltage I connected here and I will make a short circuit we can see there is a problem if I remove the short circuit the output voltage will regulate I made short circuit that means when I made short circuit here that means there is a problem in the input circuit here are two conditions in this fault if the power supply is not regulated and it is making uh, switching again and again power it tries to power on but it does not uh, remain in power on condition that means we have problem in the output area if I have problem in any voltage we can see I made short circuit for this capacitor this output I made short circuit the power supplies tries to power on it is trying to power on but it cannot remain power on why the problem there is a short circuit any section any diode any capacitor will get short circuit we will see this condition if we have problem in output section if we have problem in output section we will find this condition we can see I made a short circuit for uh, 5 volt if I made like this the voltage will remain varying any capacitor any diode any component if it is short we will find the fluctuation in the output stage if there is no fluctuation even the multimeter remains silent it does not read anything that means we have problem in input section to input section we have different conditions now if we have problem in input section this stage we discussed if we find any problem in the output area the multimeter will give fluctuation if the voltage will varying up down up down up down if we does not find any if we don't find anything we find voltage at capacitor like we tested here if we find voltage here and we don't find anything at output stage at this point or we find output varying if output is varying that means there is anything short in this circuit any capacitor you have to check the capacitors if the output is varying if we don't find anything at all we have to test this optocoupler if optocoupler is short it will permanently disable it will permanently disable this circuit now I will check again the first condition 
I am finding voltage here. This time I am finding voltage here, 3.2 volt. And if the optocoupler is short, I made it short circuit, we can see this circuit goes in dead state. Complete circuit. Why? When it is short circuit, this now this portion is working. I will show again. If we have, we have problem here in the output stage, the multimeter will keep varying. The output voltage will vary. And if the output stage of this feedback circuit, optocoupler is short circuit, like I made short circuit here, we cannot find anything in the multimeter. Now, it is the basic technique to find this one remove optocoupler in the first troubleshooting in the first troubleshooting I will remove We can see now it started working but it is not taking a proper feedback if it is short circuit sometimes this optocoupler becomes short if it is short circuit internally short you will not find anything if the optocoupler if the optocoupler is internally short from the output end like this there is a complete detailed video for optocoupler in my channel you can find over there so here we can find if the optocoupler output stage is short you will find this fluctuation or if the optocoupler is bad internally from input end you will find like this after that the next stage is SMPS switch mode power supply at switch mode power supply we will find FETs and channel most of the time N channel MOSFETs are used in heavy power supplies there are MOSFETs and in low supplies there is directly one IC there is, that is MOSFET IC internally there is a MOSFET because this circuit is for low current so this MOSFET is it have built in MOSFET inside for high power high voltage high current we have external MOSFETs so this circuit will take 380 volt directly to this IC and it will give a switching here this power supply is RLC based and this power supply is SMPS IC based SMPS IC based so in this case here is a current resistor to find the excessive current it takes voltage if we are using TL594 we have to check pin number 12 and uh, ground we should find a VCC voltage over there. Sometimes it is uh, 12 volt, sometimes it is a different voltage, up to 5 volt, 5 volt, 10 volt, 12 volt. If it is CN model, you have to go to data sheet and you have to verify the input pin. What is the pin terminal for input voltage? If optocoupler is output short, output side pin number 3 and 4 are short, then no output totally at the end. If input